Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I have been successfully reviving 2011 MacBook Pros with bad GPUs. The 2011 MacBook Pros are known to have GPUs that fail. In refurbishing a lot of Apple products, I have quite a few of them come across my desk. About half of them are fine, and the other half have failed GPUs. It doesn't appear as though there was much thermal paste on these dies whatsoever. I'm going to clean this off with some isopropyl alcohol and a paper towel. First, I'm going to use the dry paper towel to get as much off as I can. That looks like dusty thermal paste, not just regular thermal paste. But anyway, now that that has been wiped down with a dry paper towel, I'm going to put some alcohol on the graphics and the processor. Just wipe off the rest of the thermal paste. This one appears to have a bad NVIDIA GPU, which is rather interesting because usually it's the AMD graphics that fail. The two that I fixed so far both had AMD graphics, but let's see if this works on the NVIDIA graphics as well. I'll be using the Quick 861 DW, Quick Lead Free Hot Air Rework Station. The process that I've been using is setting the temperature to 250 and airspeed of 4 for 5 minutes and then 350 at airspeed 20 for 2 minutes. The flux that I use for this is Custer 186 No Clean Flux. In completing this process, I take some Custer 186 flux and I put it on all four sides of the GPU like so, making sure to get it beneath the GPU chip here. And I take my hot air reflow station. Let me get a timer so I can set it for five minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my timer set for five minutes and let's start the hot air rework. I just move the nozzle around in circles or kind of a square shape trying to get the entire chip hot. I could have preheated the board with like 180 degrees at a faster airspeed, but doing this method without preheating the board has worked twice so far. So I've attempted it twice and both times it worked. So the first board was a 17 inch MacBook Pro and I'll put the photo up here. It had lines going down the screen because it had a failed GPU. And then afterwards, the screen looked like this, and that's after reflowing the GPU with this method. The second MacBook was also an AMD graphics card, just like the first one. That was a 15 inch, a 15 inch MacBook Pro, and it wouldn't get past boot. So it would boot halfway and then crash. Did this method fix that problem too? As you can see in the video right now, there's bubbles coming from beneath the graphics card. That's a good sign. You just wanna keep the heat on it. Not too close. I'm about an inch away from the graphics chip. I have three minutes left on my timer. I'm going to apply a bit more flux to the board here around the graphics chip. Start my timer, let this get up to temp. It's been five minutes and at this point we're going to put isopropyl alcohol on the board and try to get off flux with another paper towel. We're just kind of dabbing and doing light rubs. So that's clean enough to test the board to see if we fix the problem. I'm gonna reapply some thermal paste, put the heat sink back on and reassemble the MacBook. I don't want the MacBook put completely back together, as in all of the screws for both fans, the logic board, etc. I just want it back together enough that I can test it. And this is why I don't like to put the entire computer back together. I forgot to put back the MagSafe. 
And if I put back every screw first, I would have to undo all of them to correct this error that I made. So let me fix that and then we can test it and see if it works. So upon first boot with no SSD or hard drive in there, it seems to be fixed. This was the one where it would basically have like, like distorted artifacts all over the screen. That's why the logic board got taken out and labeled as bad GPU. Let me install an SSD, boot into macOS, run a GPU benchmark, and see if we have rectified the issue. For good measure, I'm gonna reset the PRAM or the NVRAM by holding Command Option P and R and allowing it to reboot twice. The third time that you hear the chime, I'm gonna hold Option and select my boot device being the internal SSD that's running El Capitan. There's the third chime. I'll let the keys go, hold the Option key and boot to the SSD. So things I'm looking out for, one is that we boot into the OS, we don't get halfway there, crash and restart. That's the first thing that I'm looking for. The second thing that I'm looking for is that we pass the Unigen Heaven benchmark, graphics card stress test. So we're prompted with the password. I just use the default password and we are in. Let's go to about this Mac. So interestingly enough, this was a mid-2010 15-inch MacBook Pro, not a 2011 15-inch MacBook Pro, like I said at the beginning of this video. That would explain the Intel graphics in this one, as opposed to the AMD graphics that I've been repairing that have been in the 2011 models. Going to system report and then graphics, you can see NVIDIA GeForce GT 330M, 256 megabytes dedicated graphics. Let's run Unigen in heaven to stress test and benchmark the GPU. I'm gonna set the quality to medium, considering the age of this processor and GPU. I'm going to leave it as system resolution and run it. So during this Unigen Heaven benchmark test, we see there's still a problem with the GPU, despite the fact that the artifacting on the screen that was initially there is gone. We're still having an issue with the GPU under load. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take apart the MacBook and attempt to reflow the GPU at a higher temp, maybe 400, a higher airspeed, maybe 25 for a minute or two, see if I can reflow it again see if that fixes the problem if not i might have to count this one as a loss i just took this logic board back out of the macbook i just want to clean this off a little bit before i try to reflow it i've decided i'm going to do 400 degrees but for as long as i feel is necessary probably somewhere in the 30 second range as opposed to the minute range i mean it seems a little bit long for this at 400 degrees after i did some research it doesn't need to be that hot for that long otherwise you could burn the chip burn the solder balls, burn the solder joints, burn all types of stuff. So don't want to do any of that. I'm not a big fan of burning things, but I am going to use a lot more flux this time. So I'm going to flux it up big time, 400 degrees and 20 airspeed. Let this get up to 10. Let's do 25 airspeed or 30, actually 30 airspeed. So that was 90 seconds, 400 degrees and 25 airspeed. No, I'm sorry, 30 airspeed. I'm gonna reassemble the MacBook and see if that fixed the problem.
sorry that it cut out in the middle of recording the benchmark test. Uh, the Note 8 that I'm using to record the video has a 10 minute limit on 1080p 60fps video. So I'm going to close out of this benchmark. I'm going to stop the video and then I'm going to redo the benchmark. This was ran on medium settings. I'm going to run it on high settings and just make sure that we don't have an issue. This, t this round of testing went fine. We didn't have anything crash or restart or freeze, but I'm going to change the quality to ultra just to make sure, put it through the ringer here. I'm going to stop the video, restart it so that we can hopefully film the entire thing from start to finish. All right, so that was a consistent recording from the start of the benchmark to the end of the benchmark um, with the setting set to ultra quality, uh, 1440 by 900 full screen resolution. And as you can see, runs just fine. So, so there you go. That's how I repaired the GPUs on the logic boards of 2010 and 2011 13 and 15 inch MacBook Pros. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you would like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I try to put out videos as often as I can. All right. Catch you guys in the next video.